Well, Regina, thank you. Uh, check this out. It may look like a video game, but it's actually an environment built to train students. A virtual reality program, oh, whoa, it. for career and technical education. And it can be found at the Refrigeration School in Phoenix. So that is where we find Kylie this morning to see how virtual reality is really helping students in real life understand and get experience in real scenarios. Good morning. Hey, good morning. Just took the headset off, I will say. I had a lot of fun playing around with it. And it is quite challenging, but it really gives you and kind of mimics the real world. So we have Tim joining us behind uh, right now. He is doing something really cool. So we're going to kind of uh, interrupt his uh, project here. Tim, what are you working on? I'm working on a 2G T-plate right now. Okay, what does that mean? Uh, I have to <laughs> weld two pieces of metal to each other at a angle that makes a capital T. Oh my goodness, okay, so you're one month in, you're a student here, you clearly already know a lot about welding. What is it like to have this technology as another asset and another way that you're learning? Uh, it's very helpful because it, we can get uh, more experience and practice at home. Like if you have a busy day and you're at work all day and you can just at home at night, you can get some experience and some practice welding. Am I, am I disrupting you <laughs> a little bit? A Is little it hard? Bit. A little bit. <laughs> Why do you want to be a welder? Uh, so that I can provide for my family. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, I'm going to let you continue to go. We want to talk to uh, some of the men that helped to make this happen. So joining us now, Alex, you helped to create this technology. Why was it important and what has it done? Yeah, you know, it's been great so far. We It, it started with COVID, right? So our students couldn't take welding machines home and weld at home, which is not feasible. So we looked into virtual reality, and it's been it's been a big help ever since we created it. Wow, it's really cool and really fascinating to watch. We also want to bring in uh, the president here of the campus, David. Good morning. Thanks for having us. You have 800 students here. Why is it important to have a school like this and also have this technology in place? Well, trades are always going to be important. Uh, so we've always felt like we can develop something that will give somebody an opportunity to have a career for life. Uh, as you see Tim there, as he's doing, you know, a great job on the, on the simulator, but he also gets that actual practice in the lab. So that's why we love to fuse these two together. So it gives them additional time to practice something that's going to be a skill that they can use for life. And talk a little bit about welders and folks who are electricians in HVAC. I mean, we need these people in our society, and the pay is really good, too. Yeah, the pay is actually really good for someone. If you think about seven months, you're going to get that education uh, that quickly and then be able to have a starting salary of just about 40000 and then build up from there. So the, the opportunity is just endless for a lot of our students. So we're really happy to provide different uh, programs from electrician and HVAC workers. And now you have new technology doing that. Tim, good luck with everything. He is going to be a welder coming up in about six months or so. Um, and now... He's a welder at home, but if soon it'll be official. So some really cool technology happening here at the Refrigeration School in Phoenix. We'll send it back to you all. Kylie, thank you.